the Fountain of Youth. In the heart of the African kingdom, a legend whispered through the air like a sacred song. It spoke of a mythical fountain of youth, hidden deep within the kingdom or its surrounding lands. According to the age-old tale, this fountain possessed the extraordinary power to restore youth and vitality to anyone who dared to drink from its sacred waters. Generations had passed since the legend first took root, weaving its way into the fabric of the village's history. Elders passed down the story to their children, who, in turn, passed it down to their own. The tale took on a life of its own, evolving with each retelling, until it became an intrinsic part of the kingdom's identity. Whispers of the fountain's location were spoken in hushed tones, with only the wisest of sages and the most adventurous souls claiming to know its secrets. Some believed it lay hidden within the depths of the mystical forest, guarded by spirits and elusive creatures. Others claimed it resided near the cascading waterfall that graced the outskirts of the kingdom, its enchanting waters carrying the promise of eternal youth. In the softly lit chamber, the aging queen stood before a gilded mirror, her gaze fixated on every line etched upon her face. Each crease seemed to captivate her attention, and her eyes filled with sadness and frustration. I cannot bear to look at myself anymore, my love, the queen murmured, her voice tinged with melancholy. Every line, every wrinkle tells a tale of fading beauty and fleeting time. I feel as though I am slipping away, piece by piece. The queen stood before her husband, her eyes filled with an unwavering determination. She had been pestering him relentlessly, urging him to fulfill her deepest desire, to obtain the water from the elusive fountain of youth. After much resistance, her husband relented, recognizing the intensity of her longing. He summoned his most skilled warriors to embark on the perilous quest to retrieve the coveted vial of eternal youth. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months as the warriors traversed treacherous landscapes, overcoming daunting obstacles in their relentless pursuit of the legendary fountain. Finally, the day arrived when the warriors returned, triumphant and weary, bearing a small vial containing the mystical water that had become the embodiment of the queen's dreams. With the vial containing the water from the fountain of youth, she stood at the precipice of a profound transformation, a journey that would forever alter the course of her existence. In the years that followed, the queen's eternal youth became the stuff of legends. Her radiant appearance drew visitors from far and wide, all eager to catch a glimpse of the ageless beauty that had captured the hearts and imaginations of many. The queen reveled in the attention, relishing in the adoration and fascination she received wherever she went. However, as the queen basked in her perpetual youth, a bittersweet reality unfolded before her. Her beloved children, once vibrant and full of life, aged and withered away in the passage of time. The toll of witnessing her own children grow old pained her deeply, for she could offer them nothing but her unwavering love and unchanging countenance. The court, too, underwent a profound transformation. The faces that had surrounded her in her early reign gradually faded away, their lives succumbing to the natural cycle of mortality. The halls that were once filled with familiar voices and loyal subjects were now occupied by a new generation, strangers who regarded her with a mix of awe, curiosity, and eventually, a growing sense of unease. As the decades turned into centuries, the once lauded admiration and fascination slowly gave way to whispers of bewilderment and apprehension. Rumors spread like wildfire through the kingdom, fueled by fear and uncertainty. Some whispered of her being a mythical creature, a werewolf, a fairy, or something otherworldly that defied explanation. The whispers carry tales of a curse or a pact with dark forces, for how else could one explain her timeless existence? The queen, burdened by the weight of these rumors and the changing perceptions of her subjects, withdrew into a world of her own. She became a solitary figure, her heart heavy with the knowledge that her eternal youth had come at a great cost. The celebrations that once marked her birthday ceased, for she saw the glimmers of disgust and pity in the eyes of those who looked upon her. Her seclusion did not protect her from the whispers and speculative gazes. Instead, it fueled the imaginations of the people, giving rise to wild and fantastical tales that only deepened the divide between her and her subjects. The queen yearned for acceptance and understanding, but as the years turned, it seemed an unattainable dream. Now, at the grand age of 350, the queen looked upon her realm with a sense of weariness and resignation. She had borne witness to the fleeting nature of human life, the inevitability of change and loss. The years had tempered her desires for celebration and accolades, for she had come to understand the profound loneliness that accompanied her eternal youth. Clad in her regal cloak, the queen stood at the threshold of the castle, her home for centuries, her heart heavy with a mixture of sorrow and determination. The moon cast a melancholic glow upon the familiar walls, as if bidding her a solemn farewell. Tears glistened in her eyes, 
evidence of the deep emotional ties she had formed with this place. With each step she took away from the castle, a myriad of memories flooded her mind, moments of triumph, moments of love, and moments of loss. The echoes of laughter and conversation that once filled the grand halls lingered in her ears, a ghostly reminder of the vibrant life that had graced those walls. Years passed. Since the queen disappeared into the depths of the forest, whispers of her presence spread far and wide, tales of a mystical being who roamed the woodlands, protecting its secrets and guiding lost souls back to safety. Word of her transformative abilities, the power to assume any shape or form, wove its way into the fabric of folklore. Stories were passed down through generations, captivating the imaginations of children and adults alike. The Queen, now known as the Guardian, became a symbol of hope, resilience, and the untamed spirit of the forest. You can catch a glimpse of the Guardian in our story, The Brave Son. If you are curious to uncover the thrilling tale of how she became the mystical guardian of the forest, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching our story, The Fountain of Youth, and we hope you enjoyed it. If given the opportunity, would you be tempted to drink from the legendary Fountain of Youth? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of the tribe. Thank you for watching, The Tales of the Savannah. We will see you next time, in the Savannah.